Every month, we are working with the Connecticut Department of Children and Families to highlight the amazing work that they do helping kids in our state. November 18th was Adoption Day, and we're introducing you to one family who is now official after more than 1,000 days of waiting. Jenna, Tim, and Nate Riccio are here to tell us more. First of all, you're a beautiful family. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are so, we are so excited <laughs> to see you. Tell us about your journey, uh, how this whole got started. First of all, how did you two meet? Did you meet in school? We, yeah. we were teaching together for almost 10 years. We were really good friends, and then we started dating. And then we met this guy at the same school, same school. Walsh Elementary. They brought us all together. Wow, what was that like, that moment when you knew oh, I, to have a family, you know, to expand and, and just, you know, you knew that it was right? It was scary at the beginning, mm -hmm. but once we knew that Nate needed us, it was just like, we got to do this, and it's been history. <laughs> it has been history. And, and Nate, tell us about your experience. You were in a home, and unfortunately, they were not able to take, take care of your medical needs, so you got moved in with these wonderful people, and it's been a happy family ever since. Um, it's been really great, and I'm really glad that I was able to be with them and have the life that I have. Yeah, that's terrific. I mean, what was that day like when it was official, Nate? Because a thousand days, that's a lot of time to wait for <laughs> yeah. to make things official. <laughs> it, it felt like it was finally here and I was just so glad. And, and I knew that didn't change a thing because we were already a family. You were already a family, isn't that beautiful? I love it. Tim, you go, you don't, you, you weren't even married at this point. No, you learn, you learn to be a husband, you learn to be a father, you learn to be everything. Yeah. Tell us about that experience. It was, it was amazing. It was, I, before we even took Nate in, I, I knew that it wasn't going to be too long before I asked Jenna to marry me, but we got a real crash course in parenting with Nate, and we couldn't ask for a better kid to, to teach us how to be parents. And, and we just had our first um, daughter about almost 10 months ago almost, and Nate gave us the best teaching experience for being parents we could ask for. So. Oh my God, so you're a big brother oh, now. My word. Yeah. How, how is that? What is that like? I, so as a kid, I always wanted a little sister. And when Julian came, I was just so happy. And I was, and every time I see her crawling and having fun, I'm just really glad to have her. Aww. As a sister. Oh, oh and there's, there's a, picture a picture of you guys. guys. Is this oh. our, is this adoption day? That's our wedding day. Oh, that's your wedding oh. day. And that's our gender reveal when yeah. Nate was rooting for a sister. Those are our two dogs, Francis and Telly. Oh, so you're really a big brother, not just <laughs> to a little sister then. That was yes. Nate's first play that he acted and in. And yeah, you want to be an actor, right? Yes, yeah. Tell us about your first oh. uh, acting experience. Was it over Halloween? It was, it was in October. It was the weekend of Halloween. That's fantastic. And it was really cool. I got to get all in all the costumes. And I, I for my role, I was a zombie. You were a zombie. Yeah. I'm a zombie every morning when I come to work. <laughs> True story. <laughs> True story is right. What uh, advice do you guys have for um, any parents out there, any partners who, you know, they they know that there's going to be the right fit for their home and to expand their family, but they don't know where to turn to and, and where to go and start the process. I would just reach out to their local DCF office. I know there are people um, who are waiting for foster families, and it might seem scary and intimidating, but go for it. Yeah, I, I, I'm still going back to that moment where you said, hey, we're gonna take this kid home. Yeah, That's yeah. a big, big moment. Yeah, I was really nervous, but it was the best decision I've ever made. You, you, you're just a remarkable people. Thank We're so you. He's, he's, he's a remarkable awesome. kid. Yes. I can't yeah. wait to see you in Hollywood, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Big lights. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, it's well, we great. wish you uh, great holidays. Thank you. This will be your first Christmas as a uh, as a, a legal family. All Riccios. Oh. All Riccios. That's yes. right. You're a Riccio. Yeah. That's fantastic. Clearly, the best gift that you could be given, Absolutely. right? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Aww. God bless. Thank you again for coming in, thank and you thank you for taking the chance. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Thank you for sharing our story. Thank oh, we're you. more than happy to yeah, share your nice. story. And there are so many beautiful stories like the Riccios out there, and that's why we're highlighting this every month. And, you know, more than 50 children were officially adopted on Adoption Day on the 18th. That's so wonderful. Thank you again, Nate, Jenna, and, um, and 
Tim for joining us. We Thank really you. appreciate Thank it. Great to meet you. All right. Thank Happy you so holidays. Much. You yeah, too. You too. What do you want for Christmas? Um, just a couple books. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. That's awesome. All right.